uh, springtime techniques. Um, this is a multiplayer rod, 11 foot spinning rod with a multiplayer reel, an ABU reel, 6000 C4, set up with a floating Devon, 2.5 inch floating Devon. This is rigged up on a Wii U's pencil ledge. You could rig this up with a floating Devon or a skittle lead, anything like that. This is a, a pencil lead, they're quite effective for, for keeping the bait down on the bottom and stopping snagging. That's just attached to a nylon snood. There's two barrel swivels. 25 pound main line, so the, 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 the lead's attached to 18 pound line, so that's a weak link. 25 pound straight through to the second barrel swivel, and then 18 pound maxima, again right through to the floating Devon. This one on just now is red and gold which is quite effective in the spring but we have an assortment of colours which is good which are good at this time of year. They're black, white and orange. Black, yellow and orange. Black, yellow and red. These are the ones that are most effective. These are, these are all proven fish catchers. And we also have this year a new one, which has a green back, which I've yet to have a fish, but there's no, absolutely no doubt in my mind these things will work. So that's my floating Devon rig for this time of year. Quite a big Devon in the spring because you're looking for a fish that's wanting a good sized target. You don't have to be um, you can give them something pretty pretty loud and pretty visible and they'll come and take that. On my other spinning rod, which I've got set up today for spring fishing on the Lynn Pool, it's a fixed pool reel on a 11 foot spinning rod. This time I've got braided line on this reel. 33 pound braid through to a, ball, a barrel swivel again or a ball bearing swivel 18 pound monofilament and a copper salmo you can get salmos in silver there's a silver one there or a copper and silver one doesn't really matter I prefer the copper one that's my favourite one and it's a uh, would be my first choice all the time to use that. On that rod, you're also rigged up for using Vision 110s or X120s, just depending on the pool we're fishing, or even Rapalas. So that's my setup for fishing in the Lynn Pool in Tame Out in February. These are all catch fish. This is the famous Ito Vision 110. Probably our number one harling bait. One of the best spinning baits that we have on the tape. It's effective from day one in the season to the last day of the season. We just vary the colors depending on the water conditions. This is, this is my favorite spring one. This is a Kinkuru, which is black in the back with some nice sparkling through it, gold in the flanks, and an orange belly. This has got several fish this one in, in February and March. It's rigged up um, with one treble hook. The treble hook is attached to a split ring, which is attached to a barrel swivel, which is also attached to two split rings. And then this is fixed to the front hook mount on the lure. From the, the, the end of the barrel swivel there is three pound line which fixes this rig onto the back loop on the on, on the lure. So the theory is this is this is holding this hook in position. So because the fish always take this lure side on like that. So this hook is in the in the, in the place. This, this is proven by the marks we get on these lures. The wear point in the lure is always around the middle. These fish take these like that, similar to the way they would take a natural prey in, in the ocean. 
So what happens is the fish takes a lure, hooks its cell immediately, and breaks the three pound line. So the fish can now rotate around the lure easily, because the main one of the main problems with Rapala lures, especially when you've got three hooks on, or just two treble hooks, is one hook will get attached to the mouth, and it's usually this one because the fish is hitting the centre of the lure, but the tail hook or the one near the head will, will hit the flank of the flank of the fish and it'll be able to lever it out. With this rig, there's one hook and it's generally hooked right in the corner of the jaw and it doesn't come out. These are these are good owner hooks. These, once these go in, they do not come out. And the fish can then rotate around the lure, like so. And there's no way that thing is getting off. It is stapled. That fish is coming to the net. <laughs> so this is our Vision 110 Ito and Kenkuru. Deadly bait.